there'll be people, I guess, um, looking at Jude Bellingham as well and thinking he didn't have the impact, that would be a fantastic impact with all his movement and passing in late runs that we saw against Iran. But I, I was I was looking back earlier to I think it was the Nations League game in June at Hungary. And I think he started, and it was, it, was, it was almost, I mean, England lost that game 1-0, as you probably remember, in front of 30,000 kids. Um, but he had a very anonymous game then, a very similar game to today against a team that played in, in a very similar way. They really compacted the space, squeezed the midfield, gave, gave him no space to manoeuvre, and he, he almost wasn't able to, to act on, on instinct, if you like. There was no room to do that. And Hungary, again, similarly um, to the US, were very good about picking their moments to move forward and, and create and, and when to sit in and let England probe. And I, I just wonder, like, I know Bellingham's doing it week in, week out in the Bundesliga and, and looking excellent, but stepping up to this level, even if all the teams might not be technically as good as a, as a great, as a very good German team, and doing it every three days for a month. It, it's a lot for a kid of his age, and I, I wonder whether we can expect that kind of showing from him, sort of twice a week over the next month. It might just be a case that you have to cut him a bit of slack and, and also phase him in and out. And I, I think that feeds into the general sort of real, reality check vibe that we got today. Maguire was good, Barry. Yeah, um, there was one stage during the second half where he <laughs> seemed to be. <laughs> Single-handedly repelling the Americans, heading. I think it was like was it six corners? In I, was, I think it was about thirty-five corners. He just right. headed, kept heading them away. And you know that's what he's there for. And right near the end, at the other end, he he England had a corner and he he got his head to it, but not didn't give it the full slab and ended up sort of like a downward header that went wide. I think, but um. Yeah, he, he did all right. He didn't do much wrong. But, you know, it's his job to head coroners clear. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I thought he was the potential candidate for man of the match tonight. But we were sitting in the media centre with um, Neil Custis, one of the legends of the press pack. Mm-hmm. And there was just a point about 70 minutes in the game where he just erupted, slab head. Oh and, uh, I think that kind of summed up everybody's feelings because he was he was he was he was the one who stood up, and quite a lot of the players were kind of you know, wobbling a little bit. He stood up and he he wasn't he wasn't for turning. I thought it was uh, had a very good game. There was one moment in the first half actually where didn't he dribble past two players along the byline? And, you know, yeah, it could, it could have been something. Yeah, seriously was, special. It, there was something uh, Nada Manua or sort of uh, sort of Paolo Wondrup about the run. He didn't look like he was in total control. He but he was our greatest defensive and attacking force in in today's game. <laughs> which is why I suppose look Grealish Nick made a difference, right? He, he he did that, and it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean he has to start, but he is a lovely footballer to watch. No, he he did that Jack Grealish thing of looking insistent and intense and direct and. And and you know sort of hard to get off the ball when you got on the ball and ate up space and yeah it, it certainly improved the tempo at times and gave rise to some promising moments but I I I would struggle to say that we can make many conclusions from it except that yes he he does beef up the tempo as a substitute and it is nice to see him do that but everyone around him is not necessarily uh, working at a similar level. What are you grinning at, Barry? Like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> I just I find it tremendous that you're actually sitting here trying to extract <laughs> from that <laughs> you know uh, game winning or sorry uh, excellent changes that went from into being completely shy to being still shy and not scoring and <laughs> Grealish coming on and not really doing much. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You, you know, wasn't it great? Hey, drink it in, Barry. Drink it in. You're absolutely right. There is, uh, there's not much else we can say really after oh. that. Um, so Wales need to win by more than four goals to go through ahead of England. I'm not going to get cocky at this stage, but I would be surprised. Um, a win against Wales, England top the group. It makes Iran be the USA, and we'll get onto the Wales Iran game in a minute. But uh, Paul, it makes Wales, uh, it makes Iran USA incredibly exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it'll be a great game. I mean, Iran only have to get a point to go through. USA have to win. 
Um, I thought Iran looked a lot better playing on the front foot today than they looked trying to contain the other day. Um, so uh, hopefully they'll do the they'll play the, the the former than the latter against the US, and the US are obviously going to have to go for it. So I, I can actually see if that pans out, I can see Iran nicking it, especially since you know the the the, the permutations of results favour them, but. There's no doubt the United States were a lot, lot better today than they were in match day one. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I think they would have taken a lot of confidence for tonight. If I look, Nick, at my World Cup wall ch chart in front of me, I realise I haven't taken down the one from Euro 2020. So I I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it means. If England, were, if England win the group, they play second in that uh, in Group A, right? But if they yes. come second, which is which is possible, right, if they don't, beat Wales and Iran or, or the US win? No, they'll play first in, first in that group. But basically, they, those two groups, groups in, in the next round, if, if I'm right, are in next week will be tied. So first, so England's group plays right, yeah, okay. first and second play each other. Um, and, and the same group goes for other groups that appeared in the competition. So it could be... The Netherlands. Um, it could be could the Netherlands. It could be the Netherlands, although on today's evidence, and again, we're going to come to it, they've got their own issues haven't they um i i mean i i don't think england have a mega amount to worry about from that group but i do think today was a sharpener and a reality check that we just we do tend to big up the slightest spit and cough yeah, look how happy you sorry. are barry it's so funny i can, I can so just funny. see see very chuckling there while we strain for words in, inside the media center at 20 past midnight there's been some nice moments so far, you know, Rash, Rashford coming on against a, a you know, a dejected Iran. Hey, look, we don't need, we, we don't need to go through every good thing that's happened. So we're still in the World Cup.